Although the third Starship launch is concluded, the spectacular images are surely still lingering in our minds. However, it's not just us rocket enthusiasts, but it's also officials from the largest space agency in the United States, NASA, who are still in awe of what SpaceX has accomplished with Starship IFT-3. So, what is NASA's reaction now? Are they worried or disappointed about SpaceX's Starship development program, as recently rumored? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Right after the world's largest rocket blasted off into space at lightning speed, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson immediately praised the event on X. He wrote, Congratulations, SpaceX, on a successful test flight. Starship has soared into the heavens. Together, we are making great strides through Artemis to return humanity to the moon. Then, look, onward to Mars. Below the post, there were thousands of likes and hundreds of supportive comments, and CEO Elon Musk, in his response, didn't forget to express gratitude while promising a strong collaboration between SpaceX and NASA in future missions. Thank you. We are looking forward to supporting NASA and returning American astronauts to the moon. To be honest, this is a positive development for SpaceX, as well as NASA. Although SpaceX has once again lost a vehicle, it comes with a plethora of lessons learned. With SpaceX's familiarly rapid work pace, they will soon achieve the fourth Starship launch with a higher likelihood of success than the previous one. NASA may realize this, hence they don't seem overly worried about the Starship's development. Their words of congrats and encouragement are always a powerful motivation for the entire SpaceX team to strive and work hard continuously. With each flight test, SpaceX attempts increasingly ambitious objectives for Starship to learn as much as possible for future mission systems development. Lisa Watson Morgan, Human Landing Systems HLS Program Manager at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama, said in a March 14th agency statement, The ability to test key systems and processes allows both NASA and SpaceX to gather crucial data needed for the continued development of Starship HLS, Watson Morgan added. SpaceX regards the Starship system as crucial to its founding mission, to transport humans to Mars for the first time. More importantly, NASA selected Starship as the landing vehicle to carry its astronauts to the lunar surface in the Artemis III mission, scheduled to launch shortly after September 2026. Because of this, they've paid special attention to the demonstration of Starship's propellant transfer in space. This test involves transferring superchilled propellant from one tank to another inside the Starship spacecraft. This will help NASA officials and engineers ensure the stability of Starship in space without being overly affected by this activity. It sets the stage for more complex demonstrations in the future involving two giant spacecraft docking together in Earth orbit. Not to disappoint, after approximately 20 minutes of flight during Starship's third flight, SpaceX announced on its X page confirming the completion of this test. Propellant transfer demo complete. However, it remains to be seen whether the test process was completed successfully, meaning NASA and SpaceX engineers will still need time to review data in the coming weeks to determine precisely how the flight went. So, what is NASA's expectation for the future of Starship? NASA hopes that following this flight, Starship can conduct many more test flights. They want Starship to achieve repeated successes before carrying astronauts aboard this giant spacecraft. In June 2023, for example, agency official Jim Free said SpaceX will have to finish a significant number of launches ahead of Artemis program activities. Additionally, conducting multiple flights also instills confidence as they perform the process of refueling from one spacecraft to another, a technical feat that many believe SpaceX may find challenging. However, in the face of these discussions, SpaceX officials remain confident based on their track records. Though rapid refueling may seem very intimidating, SpaceX has already proven it can handle several launches within hours of each other for its Falcon 9, the workhorse rocket that regularly lifts satellites into orbit. The company's even proven it can turn around and launch from the same launch pad within a matter of days. The recent progress of Starship has also alleviated NASA's concerns about SpaceX's lunar rocket program last year. In February of this year, NASA highlighted success with Starship docking system tests and said SpaceX finished more than 30 HLS-specific milestones on various hardware pieces. However, despite these achievements, NASA still decided to push back the schedule for Artemis III mission from January to a launch in September 2026, delaying it by about a year from the previous target. This was partly to allow SpaceX more time to develop a reliable Starship system and partly due to various technical issues with NASA's Orion spacecraft, private industry spacesuits, and other critical items. Honestly, the extended timeline also provides SpaceX with more time for research and development. Such phases are common in the aerospace industry. Failure leads to success, and for SpaceX, it's also about quick explosions, 
quick solutions, and quick learning from mistakes to conduct tests again. That's why Starship's third test flight, despite culminating in an explosive scene, was hailed by SpaceX as a successful mission. Precision executed from the Boca Chica base, the world's largest rocket reached unprecedented altitudes, proving its design's viability and power. The successful separation between the Super Heavy and the Starship, followed by the explosion of the former at 460 meters altitude, did not overshadow the success of this key maneuver for the future reuse of rockets. Starship continued its ascent, surpassing the space boundary and collecting essential data for the project's next phases. In this historic flight, SpaceX tested the efficiency of Starship's heat shield and conducted technical improvement demonstrations, such as the payload door opening in orbit and efforts to transfer fuel in orbit. Despite the loss of the spacecraft during re-entry into the atmosphere, the valuable data obtained is a win for the SpaceX team. The journey of Starship's been filled with intensive learnings and challenges. With two integrated flight tests IFT conducted last year, each ended in spectacular explosions, which, although seen as failures by the public, provided SpaceX with valuable data for improvement. The first flight in April saw the rocket fail to separate from its first stage booster, leading to early destruction, while the second flight in November achieved the separation, but ended similarly explosively shortly after. On the eve of its third test flight, SpaceX's Starship has undergone a series of significant technical improvements, aimed at correcting flaws observed during previous attempts. SpaceX focused on increasing the structure's robustness, enhancing flight performance, and optimizing the launcher's efficiency. Among the notable modifications, the addition of bell-shaped ventilation deflectors on the nose cone stands out, allowing for better thermal flux and internal pressure management during the flight. Furthermore, meticulous adjustments were made to the methane and liquid oxygen tank vents to improve their reliability under extreme conditions. The thermal protection of the Starship has also been revised, with aesthetic and functional changes to the thermal shield ensuring better resistance during atmospheric reentries. The payload bay door has been reinforced, a crucial modification for future satellite deployment and cargo transport missions. The integration of new Starlink terminals on the launcher's nose demonstrate SpaceX's willingness to experiment with advanced communication technologies, promising E-band communication tests with Starlink satellites in orbit. Overall, we may not be able to fully comprehend what SpaceX has accomplished and attempted in the recent launches, but perhaps the most apparent progress is evident through their demonstrated achievements. This is acknowledged by everyone, including NASA officials. If Starship succeeds, it'll leave a footprint that changes the entire world. SpaceX has helped renew the public's interest in spaceflight, the company makes excellent use of live streaming technology, making each rocket launch and landing an exciting event. The interest in SpaceX's efforts, which are often in partnership with NASA, has inspired new generations to pursue exciting space careers. But we still need NASA. The agency does more than put astronauts into orbit. There's no business case for sending a spacecraft to Pluto or landing a rover on Mars to search for signs of past life. Space exploration and scientific discoveries require long-term public support and investment. Humans may even have a moral obligation to explore the cosmos. NASA is also vastly larger, spending tens of billions of dollars every year on hundreds of major projects, while SpaceX spends millions of dollars on a select few. Space exploration brings out the best of us. When government agencies like NASA and private companies like SpaceX work together, everyone wins. That's all for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.